Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a all the same products that I just had in my last video, which I will link. I'm gonna go ahead and go through all those products from that last video and see if they have any skin irritants in them. I actually got recommended this website by Curology because I'm actually trying a new trial of it or I'm going to be once I receive it. I've tried Curology in the past and I liked it, but I didn't love it, so that's why I never continued it. But I wanted to try it again and I wanted to try a new formula just to see if that would help my skin or not. And in my email that I actually received today, they recommended me to try COS DNA, which is COSDNA.com, and see if any of the products that I'm using now are actually causing any of the issues on my skin that I've been having. So I thought that that would be really interesting to see if, if that is part of the reason or not. So let's get the screen recording going. So as you can see, this is the website. It tells me it's not secure, but if Curology told me to use it, I feel like I should be okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll just go one by one. So the first one, we're gonna try the Thyers Witch Hazel Toner again. So I'm going to choose the newer date. So for acne, it gets a zero, and an irritant, it gets a zero. So I really like that. Now I'm curious, because that was posted by someone. Let me click this other one. So yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely not bad. So my question would be, an irritant a zero is good, but does it, if it's a zero on acne, does that mean it's not helping that? That would be something I'm gonna look into, but that's good. So we know that that's not irritating my skin. I like that. So then we'll try the Thyers Mist. I'm kind of breezing through these products because if you want to see more of what they are, you can go look at my last video, the Think Clean think clean, think dirty. Okay, so let's type in mist maybe. Okay, so here we go, the facial mist. Again, acne zero, irritant zero. So that's good, we like that. I feel I feel good using that now. And then let's do our last thyers, which is the blemish stick. And nothing came up for that. But I'm assuming that, well, I don't know. I don't know though, because that is for blemishes. I'm going to click, let's click this. What's this? Ooh, so if it has an alcohol in it, which let's look. I don't see alcohol as one of the ingredients, but it also doesn't say alcohol free. If it has alcohol in it, then it is an irritant. Let's, what about this one? So if it's an extringent, but I don't know if this is or not. Like, hmm, what about this one? Yeah, so I mean, let, let me look at, I mean, does something straight up just say whether or not it has alcohol in it or not? So there's a couple that it could be. So let me look again. Anything basically with an L at the end? I don't think this has alcohol in it. But then if I look at this, for instance, 
I don't know. Let's look. I'm going to look it up. So we can't tell that one for sure. But let's go ahead and search the Dr. Wellness Super Clean Pores. No, I don't believe it has alcohol in it either. Interesting. Okay. So next, let's go through our Formula 1006 products. Actually, before I do that, let me do my face cleaner. My. Let me try my facial cleaners. Okay, hold on though. Does it matter if it's for sensitive skin or not? So, unfortunately, I don't have the exact one that came up, but it says that these cause acne. This causes acne, seriously? And it's an irritant. Because of fragrance and pH adjusters. Well, that's nice to know. Let's see if maybe I just start using only one cleanser. Like, I'll use my night cleanser during the day. So we'll try the CeraVe. Again, if I'm saying that wrong, I don't even care at this point. You stupid. So it does have one ear tint for velocity control. So safe to say I'm not using clean and clear anymore. I'm only gonna use my CeraVe. Man, that sucks. So now we'll move to Formula 1006. So we'll do the toner first. Which I don't feel confident about. Oh, really? It's a good one. Yay, no acne, no ear tint. Yay. So they have one maybe and one bad so far. So then we'll do the on your mark. It does have alcohol in it, so it is an irritant and it has fragrance. Well, poop. Good thing I'm almost out of that one, I guess. And then we'll do the Rescue Me next. Also an irritant due to the alcohol. Wow. That is so interesting. It's safe to say I'm gonna be using this website quite a bit to check stuff like if I'm ever buying anything new, especially. So let's go ahead and we'll keep going with clean and clear. We'll do the the acne medication, which I already don't feel good about. And why does it keep auto correcting me? No, just let me type it how I want to type it. Oh, 
and it is also an irritant and acne what how is an acne treatment causing acne that's what is so baffling to me okay and then we have the mark treatment by clean and clear and also a acne but at least this one's not as bad so we'll put it in like limbo and then we'll do Neutrogena under eye gel has an irritant and acne but at least it's not as bad so we'll put it in the limbo next let's do my moisturizer the cetaphil It has alcohol in it, so it causes acne and it's an irritant. That sucks, dude. Now, here's the thing. I'm probably going to use all these until they're gone. I just won't be repurchasing them, to be completely honest. Next, we're going to do my Burt's Bees acne treatment that I've been enjoying. Let's hope that it's actually okay. And it doesn't say, so let's try another one. So this one says it has alcohol and it's a irritant. Like a high irritant of a five. What the hell? What about my e.l.f. acne gel? Roll on, whatever. Is that it? Yep, this is it. So again, it doesn't have anything. Let's check another one. Has an irritant. Has alcohol. And last but not least, the Tarte Treat Your Selfie. We'll see what comes up for it. Now, I do have a lot more face products. A lot of them I actually haven't moved yet. And so, honestly, I think that'll be a me thing where I'll just go through the rest of them. And maybe I'll talk about all the ones that came up bad. But I'm not going to do all of them again on camera. Oh, no, not taste. It's tart. Alright. And last one. It's an irritant because it has alcohol. So what did I learn today? That I have toners that are okay. 
that my face wash that I've been using for years is not good. That a lot of my acne that's supposed to be helping me is actually bad. I honestly would be curious as to what has no effect as well as what exactly that acne number means. Like obviously get what the, the irritant one means, but does the acne one mean like that's what it ranks as far as causing more acne? I don't know, I feel like that would be some more research I'd have to be doing. And that, But I do have an eye cream that's in limbo and a spot treatment that's in limbo, so at least I know that those are okay. <sighs> and then my Thayer's uh, blemish stick didn't come up at all. So that would be curious to know about. I'm just like so sad and disappointed right now. Like at least I know what's good and what's not and I'm gonna be being more cautious going forward but that sucks. It, it really does suck. Knowing that I've spent money on products and been using some of them for years and it's been hurting and not helping the issue so that that's all I've got I'm gonna link the website down below if you want to bum yourself out and uh, all my socials are down there and I'll link my think dirty videos and then that way you can maybe check out what products I'm actually using and how they rank on that site which a lot of the products didn't come up which is so stupid but whatever um, that's all I've got for today till next time